Manitoba upset last year in the quarterfinals of the event by the Edmonton Savages. Brampton Midnight Express, first time in a couple of years that they have qualified to get to the big show here at the Nationals. Manitoba, one of the always tournament favors, and the Brampton Midnight Express, one of the few teams to dethrone the mighty Montreal Red Light. Dylan Kelly for Manitoba. And I apologize, folks, we do not have a roster for the Brampton team. So I will say some names I know. Midnight, put it in deep here. Kyle McComb going to lay a ball out to the neutral zone. That one hits an errant stick on the bench. That faceoff should be brought right back outside the Manitoba, sorry, the Brampton blue line. Great games here today on day one of this national tournament. Both divisions, the men's and the ladies. And no reason to think why we're not going to finish it off strong. Here comes Midnight. In their own end, they're going to work out the ball. The Brampton Midnight Express out of Ontario. In red. Team Manitoba in black. Both of these teams probably consider two of the best in the tournament. And... Manitoba looking to avenge a quarterfinal loss last year. Last game, New Brunswick dropped a close decision to Team Newfoundland Labrador, and the host squad certainly looked good in that game. Midnight now. Up for Matt Tromblin. Back down behind the goal. Manitoba with a good defensive posture here. They're just waiting for midnight. Remy Lawrencell. Fresh from a stint with Team Canada. This Manitoba team littered with players who represented Canada at the 2017 World ISBHF Ball Hockey Championships. Here comes Manitoba, Lawrence Sell. He takes a pass. Coming down the outside, Remy Lawrence Sell. Trying to spin away from a check. Lawrence Sell elects to go down low. Good defense there by Eric Kamara and the Midnight Express. Ball chipped up along the wall to Tremblin. Tremblin knocks it down behind the net to Chicky Mentis. Long feed down the floor. Manitoba back on their heels a little here. Not much, definitely going to be a feeling out process from both teams. We saw that in the last game as well. Here comes Manitoba. There's a shot. That one's deflected. And that's going to go high over the glass. David D. Geronimo listed as one of the goaltenders. Not sure who the other goaltender is. I don't think that's David in the net now. Although I'm not looking at another goalie on the bench, so let's go out ahead and say it is David D. Geronimo in the net. Face off in midnight's end. Face off. One by the Express. Ball hammered along the glass. Going to come out. Paul Castus going to have to give chase for Manitoba. Paul Castus wearing the C for this Manitoba squad. He patrolled the blue line for Team Cannon and Pardubice as well. Long feed up the floor. Manitoba looking to jump on it and get a scoring chance. Can't do so. That ball is going to come outside as it was deflected. Manitoba with some fresh uh, new bodies. They've always been a strong team here at Nationals, but they are riding the development of their junior program. We see Mac Hardy and Callan Castus in the lineup. Fresh out of junior from a couple of years ago, national championships at the junior level. So just been handed a copy of the Midnight Express lineup. So now we're good to go. Ball gets hammered down behind the ball. Manitoba look to come out. Good to play there to step in on the blue line there by 
Haji Gill. Eric Tardif, sorry, stepped in, kept that one in. And we've got ball goes out of play. We'll have a face off as the net is knocked off as Moorings. That looks like Danny Medeiros in between the pipes for the Midnight Express. I'm pretty certain it is. Daniel Medeiros played for Team Portugal in the World Championships and actually almost stole one against the Czech Republic one night. Danny Medeiros, a veteran, Canadian ball hockey. Face off, one by Manitoba. Kelly, Dylan Kelly. Move the ball along, picked up by Dustin Pearson now, Manitoba. Pearson trying to put it along. Good four check there by Midnight. Eric Tardiff behind the net. Here's Tardiff. Throws one out for Daniel Satachi. Satachi can't come away with it. Now here comes Manitoba. Kelly on the forecheck. Couldn't stop Callum Wild though. Callum Wild moves up along the boards and is picked up by Eric Tardiff. Tardiff in the neutral zone. Long pass. Looking to spread J.C. Gill. Gill. In the neutral zone, can't hold on to that one. Manitoba's going to fire it in deep. Shaq Moresti couldn't hold on to that pass. Going to come all the way down behind the net. And James Chicky Mentis will pick up the ball for midnight. Mentis to the middle of the floor. Finds Satachi. Satachi chips it up the wall. Looking for a long lead pass there to send away Eric Tardif. But Manitoba intercept and offsides is the call. Warren Sell just got in a step ahead. Of his teammate. Face off outside the midnight blue line. This is a big line on the floor now. Hannon out with Tremblett and Porter. Here's Porter, shot in a high slot. That was deflected by the Manitoba defense in the front. Tremlin on the side. Matt Tremlin. Tremlin backhand pass behind the net for Hannon. Here's Hannon. Now Hannon setting up shop down low. Manitoba content to leave him there behind the net. Hannon not in any rush to step out. Manitoba looking to flush him out to his backhand. Can't do so. Player sneaks in from the point that was Dayton Sofa. Sofa couldn't come away with it. Here comes Manitoba. Derek Gingera. Cross feed pass. Good try there by Lauren Sell. Tried to go back the other way to Danik Levesque. Levesque couldn't get the pass though. Team's going to make some wholesale changes. Both squads and the Midnight Express will just take the ball back behind their own net. Manitoba content just to sit back in the neutral zone. And wait. Pass comes up the floor. Mac Hardy steps up, gives a bump to number 11, J.K. Gill of the Midnight Express. Hardy's going to come away with the ball for Manitoba. Hardy puts the ball down on goal, and Medeiros is going to drop down and hold on to that one for the faceoff. Face off will be to the right of Medeiros. Draw one by the Express. Jordan Crocker chips it behind the net. Stolen by Manitoba. Midnight, another chance to clear. Ball chipped off the wall. Crocker puts it back behind the goal this time, where it's picked up by Mentis. Mentis. He tries to spin away with it. Here's Mentis. Mentis chips it all the way up the wall himself. Going to be picked up in the neutral zone by J.K. Gill. Gill for Crocker. Crocker. He was looking to pass all the way. He was in a pretty good shooting position, but chose not to. And the ball eventually gets deflected up into the stands. 13.09 left to go in period one. No score. Brenton Midnight Express, Team Manitoba, all knotted up at zero. From the draw, 
Face off controlled by Manitoba. It's Lauren Sell. He puts it back behind the net. Team Manitoba threatening to come out. Don't do so is Dustin Pearson. Pearson moves it up along the wall. Now Manitoba chipping through the neutral zone. The way they come. Here's Dylan Kelly. Kelly chasing the ball down. Can't quite get there though. And Mitchell Byrne has it for midnight. Burn tips it up for Crocker. Turned over in the slot. There's a shot by Lauren Sell. That one's driven just wide. Lauren Sell, Johnny on the spot for that turnover. Lauren Sell puts it down low. Lauren Sell going to the slot area. He'll pick up a loose ball on the side. Remy Lauren Sell. Backhand pass. He puts it across. Finds the stick of Evan Castis. Castis couldn't get good wood on that one, though. Ball comes back to the point. Shot is blocked, and away comes Midnight. J.C. Gill, he's got some wheels and he's off to the races down the floor. Gill trying to drop it back for Tardif. Tardif couldn't get a stick on that in Manitoba with some good solid defense, hold on. Team Manitoba, ball comes back. All the way for Dustin Pearson. Pearson trying to get it out for D Dylan Kelly. Kelly now, he comes up over the line. Here's Dylan Kelly. Kelly, ball's knocked off his stick into the bench. That'll be a face-off, still inside Midnight Express territory. Manitoba back to the attack. Here's Lauren Sell. Lauren Sell bumped off the ball there by number 52 to Midnight Express. Mitchell Byrne. Here's a drive from the point. That's blocked up top. Ball comes to the line, kept in by Hardy. Hardy knocks it down. It's down deep for Lauren Sell. Lauren Sell spins around trying to find Danik Levesque. Levesque can't get a stick on it. The foul's going to come back to the point, but Derek Whitel will keep it in. Levesque on the backhand. He found Kevin Marchuk open momentarily on the side, but the net was knocked off his moorings. And the faceoff will be still inside Midnight Territory. Here's a shot from the point. That one deflected wide. Chance for the Midnight Express to come away with it now. Eric Tardif, he's going to fire it down below. McComb comes out and moves it for Manitoba. 
in the high slot. Marchuk on the backhand. Moves the ball. Manitoba going to like to put it back for Whitehill. Whitehill down behind the goal. Midnight with some good offensive pressure here now. Trying to not let Manitoba come away with it. Manitoba going to try to high bomb pass. Comes over the line. That's caught up in Marchuk. Marchuk was pretty cheeky there to get behind the defenseman and almost knocked that down. Here comes J.C. Gill now. Shot, drive, off the post, the rebound, scores! The Midnight Express strike first. Big drive from the point was deflected. McComb got a piece of it. A rebound was there off the post, and J.C. Gill was there to finish it off. And the Midnight Express have opened the scoring halfway through the first period. 1-0 Brampton over Manitoba. Balls lurched up the floor, Manitoba now. The Manitoba's probably carried the play most of this first period, but the Midnight Express are on the board first. There's a drive from the stick of Callan Castus. Midnight, opportunity to come away with a two on one. Matt Tromblin, he couldn't catch up to that one quite quick enough. And Mentis is back there for Midnight. Mentis, the Dayton Sofa, Sofa, over for Hannon. Here comes Hannon. Hannon up over the line. He's going to drop it back. Shot right on. Pad saved there off the stick of Mike Porter. San Christensen for Manitoba. Christensen back pass for Gengera. Gengera. He takes a bump. Almost stolen there by the Midnight Express. Chance to move up the floor now for Manitoba's Moresti. Moresti. He knifes one down deep into the zone. There first is Anthony Loveless for the Midnight Express. He'll send the break out the other way. J.K. Gill battling for position with Mac Hardy. Hardy running for the ball. Hardy is rubbed out, still keeps going. Hardy's still moving. Referee's arm stuck to his hip there as Hardy was held up along the boards but couldn't get the call. From the draw. Manitoba with possession. Midnight cleared around the boards. No flooring called on the play. That was deflected going down. McCombs going to hold it out there for Hardy. Chips it up the boards to the neutral zone. Manitoba. Sam Briscoe trying to come in with a deep. Briscoe puts it down low for Shaq Moresti. Moresti walks out, spins around to his forehand. Midnight player got tangled up what I would call accidentally on purpose into the post. Face off is called and the play will be stopped. Face off will still stay in 
Midnight Territory. Donnie Kelly tangled up with a player there. Looks like number 14, I'm guessing, for Midnight. Few words being exchanged there. No, it wasn't number 14. It was number 74, Eric Cardiff. And Kelly tiled up together. Face off is going to be to the left of Daniel Medeiros. Referee's looking for the ball on the floor. He might need that. Six thirty-five left to go here in period one. Midnight Express of Brampton, Ontario, up by a score one nothing. There's a shot from the slot from Manitoba. That one just missed off the stick of Derek Ingera. Ball gets lifted out, and Manitoba will go back to retreat as Tyler Moore. Moore chips it up to the line. Ball is knifed in deep. Midnight coming out with the ball, the Express. Very speedy there, number 18, Jordan Crocker. Speedy young man there out of Brampton. Crocker down for Tremblett. Tremblett down low. Tremblett very hard to knock off the ball for the Express. Here's Matt Tremblett. Tremblett trying to put it out front for Crocker. Tremblett still fighting for it down low. Tremblett spins away. Ball comes to the line, and it's going to make it all the way out. Good work there by Matt Tremblett of the Midnight Express, though. Sean Hannon trying to lead a rush in. Hannon picks it up and fires, and Kyle McComb is going to stop that one and hold on. No rebound for Manitoba. comes Manitoba in the neutral zone. Kelly leads the rush, finds Marchuk. Marchuk chips it down low. Back out for Marchuk. Shot right on. Madero square to the shooter and tall to the task. Midnight on a counterattack now. Gill waiting for some help to come up the floor. J.K. Gill puts it across for J.C. Gill. Ball is turned over though and Manitoba will have a chance to come away with it. Nomic, Roman Nomic puts it out. Offsides a call, and the midnight player, number 94, Anthony Loveless, turns around to protest, but he just couldn't quite hold the line. And offsides is indeed the call. One to nothing, 4.33 left to go in the first half. The Midnight Express, one, Team Manitoba, no score. A timeout call here with 4.33. 4.33 left to go, period one. We'll take a break. Timeout. one nothing. midnight.
Face off in the Manitoba zone. Midnight Express applying some pressure here. Just under four minutes left to play. Sean Hannon steps in for the draw for Midnight. Face off one by Manitoba. Kelly. Dylan Kelly out to the zone. Tremlett's going to have to wait for his teammates to tag up. Tremlett gets by. Tremlett steps around Castus. Castus does a good job muscling up on Tremlett down low. Here's Tremlett. Tremlett. Nice one handed pass out. Backhand shot. Off the stick of Porter. But the rebound is there. From the draw. There's a nice shot there. That one's deflected dangerously off the stick of Mike Porter. Porter doing a good job spinning away from the faceoff circle and getting that shot. Down low for Hannon. Ball's rimmed along the wall. Here comes Dylan Kelly. Kelly, he chased it down low. Kelly puts it down deep. Crocker watches him. Ball's gonna go around for Moresti. Shaq Moresti back to the point. That's up high and it's going to be hammered in by Dustin Pearson down low. Kelly couldn't get to it. Coming in to help out is Derek Weidel. Weidel back for Moresti. Moresti is the shooter for this Manitoba squad. Moresti spins away from a check. Good moves dive there by Big Shaq. Moresti. He fires one through and that one gets deflected high over the glass. Face off will be outside the Midnight Express blue line. Ball is out, signified by the official Eric Robertson. From the face off, Brampton. Dayton Sofa, he makes a nice rush up to the line, gains the line, he's gonna put it down deep. Sofa puts it down behind the goal and Kyle McComb is gonna drop down and hold on to that one. Face off will be in Manitoba territory. From the draw, Manitoba with possession. Midnight trying to step up and stop him from coming out. They can't do so. Manitoba comes out with an ease. It's Derek Dinjera. Dinjera cross feed pass for Lawrence Sell. Lawrence Sell. Couldn't hold on. Back to the point. There's a drive off the stick of Sean Christensen. That one's deflected, but Lawrencell finds it down in the corner. Remy Lawrencell trying to spin away from a check. Lawrencell looking for something to open up. Lawrencell back door feed there. Saw a streaking Shane Gingera, but Gingera couldn't get a stick on it. Ball's gonna come around. Lawrence Hill trying to get there first. Ball gets chipped out to the line and out. And giving chase for Mid Midnight Express's Dayton Sofa. Manitoba now. Paul Castus. Castus moves it across for Roman Nomic. For Castus. Up to Nomic. Nomic gains the red line. Nomic. Not much happening at the blue. Going to try to carry it himself. And Nomic just took a solid body check there from J.K. Gill. And Gill is going to go to the penalty box there. And Gill is giving the referee the old who me look. But that's a pretty easy call to make by the official. Head contact is going to be the goal. Minutes is the call for head contact.
Face off, controlled by Albert on the power play. Lauren Sell up top. Here's Marchuk, winds, fires. That one whistles wide. First power play opportunity of the game. Hannon diving out of position. Lauren Sell down for Marchuk. Marchuk fires again, and that one misses on the short side. The Midnight Express with a chance to clear it down the floor and relieve some pressure. A little bit of action going on between Hannon and Moresti over on the left side. Ball's dumped in. Manitoba going to take possession. Marchuk puts it back to the point to Lawrencell. Lawrencell swings it into slot. There's a chance for Kelly. Kelly turns around and fires, but that ball is deflected. Up over the glass. 29 seconds left to go in this first half. 1-0 for the Midnight Express. Manitoba on the power play, however. Face off. Controlled by Midnight, but apparently the player reached in with his hand and knocked it back, and that is not allowed in the face off circle, so they'll do it all over again, more than likely with a different centerman. All lined up to do it again. 28 seconds remain in the first. Manitoba on the power play. Face off, one by Manitoba. Here's Marchuk. Marchuk winds, fires. Marchuk not afraid to shoot on the back end there for Manitoba. Ball comes across from Marchuk back to Lawrence Hill. 15 seconds remain. Lawrence Hill to Marchuk. Marchuk's got Dylan Kelly up top. Moresti's down in front of the net. Moresti looking for the screen, shot short side. Moresti picks up the rebound off the boards and that's a set play for Manitoba for sure. That'll do it for the first period of play. The Brampton Midnight Express won Manitoba, no score. You're watching the CBHA National Ball Hockey Championships brought to you exclusively by Five TV One. Thank you.
chance for Manitoba to come out. Ball chipped aside. Manitoba now on a counterattack. They're in midnight territory. Lawrence Self. Pass outside. All alone inside. Good save there by Maderos. Off the stick of Marchuk. Derek Gingera, sorry. Gingera stoned by Daniel Maderos. Lawrence Self. Out front. Another big save by Maderos. Comes up with the windmill on the glove hand. And Maderos is stoning the Manitoba boys in this one. Away comes Midnight. Player is upended there, no call at the line. Manitoba back for the counterattack. Danik Levesque, that shot goes behind the net. Maderos gonna move it himself along the side. Daniel Maderos keeping his team in it right now. Hey. Manitoba thought they had the game tied up. But the goal was immediately waved off by the official. Not sure if we'll hear an explanation over the public address system or not. So I believe it was a high stick and a ball is why it's no goal. So not only no goal, but it also becomes a penalty to double jeopardy, double whammy to Manitoba there. Here comes Midnight. Mentis winds, fires. That shot's on goal. McComb steers that one aside. Back out for Mentis. Mentis at the line. He's going to direct some traffic up top. Out for Hannon. Hannon's shot. That whistle's wide. Guns have come around the other side. Back for Mentis now. Mentis. Got J.C. Gill down low. Now for Trembla. Trembla thought there was someone back there, but a, an errant pass there. Ball goes outside the line. That's not Trembla, sorry. That was Eric Tardif. Mentis. Wines. Fires. McComb. Probably misplayed that one a little bit. Might have caught the outside of the post. Here's Hannon with a shot. McComb's going to drop down and hold on to that one with no rebound. 109 left to go into power play. 13-15 here in this second half of play. off, one by the Express, cleanly. Back to the point, comes across for Dayton Sofa. Sofa kicks it down for Sean Hannon. Hannon, behind the goal, I believe is trembling. That's turned over, intercepted again though. Good quick stick there by Mitchell Byrne. Byrne now, Byrne back for Sofa. Byrne under some pressure. Got a net is off its mooring, so the whistle will go. Midnight player not too happy with that call. It's Mike Porter, but hey, they got to call that one big call. off, one by the Express. Back for Byrne. Byrne up top now, Mitchell Byrne. Wines, puts it down the other side. One time attempt, that's blocked. Off the stick of Dustin Pearson. Pearson gets enough of it and McCollum will drop down and hold on to the rest. Game 
at a snail's pace now. Line changes seem to be taking forever. Back at the point, now the Midnight Express will compete their line change. Sofa switching positions. Ball gets sent down low. Sean Hannon takes it around, trying to change the point of attack, but Manitoba doing a good job firing down the floor. Medeiros comes out quickly, holds onto that one. Manitoba, got a player driving to the net. Ball is laid there for him, but once again, too high. Manitoba's got to get that ball down. Moresti, tied up up front. Moresti spins, fires. He managed to get the shot off, but Medeiros is there to make the save. Away come the Express. Jordan Crocker leads a rush down the floor. Crocker's pass gets through, but Manitoba going to take a penalty here now as J.K. Gill was upset going to the net. And it looks like Derek Whitehill is going to go to the box for Team Manitoba. Right back to the power play, go to Midnight Express. Tripping is the call, and it's not Derek Whitehill, it's Mac Hardy. Going to get the gate for Manitoba. So, face off in Manitoba territory, the Midnight Express on the power play. From the draw, back to the point for number 21, Jason Gill. Gill, he's going to leave it up top. Down low, Midnight moving the ball around in the 1-3-1 power play setup. That's deflected and goes down the floor. Medeiros comes out, makes the pass himself. To go all the way down the floor, no icing called. Manitoba with a chance to clear it. Long pass, that one's gonna go into the penalty box. <laughs> Mac Hardy wasn't looking at the play. Almost got his head taken off. Heads up there, big fella. off is going to be to the right of Kyle McComb. Stepping in for the Midnight Express is Sean Hannon. The Alberta forward is ejected from the face-off circle. Justin Metcalf comes in and takes over and he wins the draw for Manitoba. Midnight though right on it right away. Here's Tremlin. Tremlin. Puts it down low for Hannon. Hannon to Tremlin. Shot right on. Nice save there by McComb. Manitoba's Metcalf gets a stick on it and he fires it down the floor. Big shot from the point. McComb's going to watch that one whistle wide. McComb with his stick himself trying to poke it out. To the point but not out. J.K. Gill moves it down. Going to come back to Gill up top. Gill fires. Block partially in front. Manitoba with a chance to clear but knocked down by Gill. Here's Gill, another big shot, nice save there by McComb. 
McCollum not too happy with the player in front of the net. Manitoba shorthanded now, looking to eat some time off the clock here. Ball's put down the corner. Mitchell Byrne gets to it. Byrne moves it up the floor for Gill. Here comes J.K. Gill. Gill to Hannon. Hannon stops waiting for Tremlett to come up. Tremlett's going to take up his spot in front of the net. Here's Tremlett. Set up shop. Good screen in front. If Midnight can manage to get that ball through, McCollum's going to have a tough time. There's a rebound there. Hannon elected to try for a one-timer rather than a shot. Ball's kicked down low. Here's Hannon behind the net. Hannon. Hannon tries a little cheeky move behind the net. Puts the ball out to the neutral zone. Foot race. Dayton Sofa's going to get there first as he outruns Mac Hardy. Ball comes around the boards. Both teams playing hard here. This is quite a hockey game, folks. And this is only day one. Here's a wrist shot, misses short side. McComb comes across and takes the net off its moorings with his slide. But the play was wide anyway. Nine minutes left to play, one to nothing for the Midnight Express over Manitoba. Face off is going to be to McCombs left. Manitoba goalie still putting his mask on and the referee's getting ready to drop the ball. Come on, big fella, have a look. Now we're all set. Everybody resets. Ready to go. From the draw. Here's a quick shot. Rebound there. McCombs quick with the stick and moves it out. Cardiff. He fires one through. Good pressure here by the Midnight Express. Lawrence Hill. Out to the neutral zone, but not out. Now Lawrence will have a second chance again for Manitoba. He moves it across. Ball finally comes out to the neutral zone, but right away, the Midnight Express step up again. Big shot from the point there by Satachi. McComb will come out and leave that behind the net. Ball comes out to the neutral zone. Now away comes Team Manitoba. Lawrence L can't beat Danny Rocket of that one. The ball's going to come back down for Manitoba. Castus, Cal Castus, he fires one. Lawrence L. Throwing one to the net, just looking to hit the stick of Evan Castus there. Couldn't quite get there. Here comes Midnight. Offside's going to be the call there. It's going to be delayed. The Midnight player smart enough not to touch it up. Callan Castus looking for a pass there. Evan Castus is going to fire it down low. That's Sean Christensen. Ball in the neutral zone, both players fight for it. No flooring call on the play. McComb couldn't handle that one cleanly out of the net. That's gonna allow Munavir Hamadani to come pick it up. Hamadani, he can't hold on to it, and away comes Dylan Kelly. Kelly is up ended there, and there's going to be a penalty. The big fella goes down hard to the boards. One of those things to one referee, it looks like interference to the other one, nothing. Sean Hannon not happy with the call. But nonetheless, he's got to go to the box. Two for interference. Face off of it just outside the Manitoba blue line. Big opportunity here for Team Manitoba on the power play here in the second half. draw. Manitoba. It's Lawrence L. He's going to step up to the line. Manitoba gains the line. Dylan Kelly. Marchuk now. Marchuk, he's had his fair share of shots in this one. Not afraid to shoot at all is Kevin Marchuk. The wily veteran for Team Manitoba. Back for Lawrence L. Lawrence L. Kicks it for Gingera. Down for Moresti in front. Moresti. Tried a shifty little tip in front. Couldn't get there. Lawrence L. Throws one in front of the net. Gingero's there. Madero somehow saw that one. Between big number 25 of Manitoba. Lawrence L. Gingero. 
from our truck. There's a cross feed pass. Moresti trying to hit Derek Gingera with it. Lauren Sell has taken. He's upended. Lauren Sell manages to keep it in though. Over for Marchuk. Marchuk going to move it to Lauren Sell. Lauren Sell has Zingera on his side. Going to come back to Marchuk on the right. There's Marchuk. Moresti pops out. No pass there. Lauren Sell winds. Fake's going to come back to Marchuk. Marchuk had to stop. Couldn't take a one timer. Gingera with a wrist shot. He couldn't get it through. Marchuk shot right on rebound by Moresti. Just missed and couldn't get it to the net. Ball gets fired all the way down the floor. Good job there by Daniel Medeiros and the penalty killing of the Midnight Express. Lawrencell can't get it past Gill. Now it comes from Marchuk. Marchuk back for Moresti. Moresti to Lawrencell. Manitoba gained the line. Lawrencell to Gingera. Back for Lawrencell. Lawrencell holding. Down for Marchuk, didn't like where that was. He's gonna give it back. Now Marchuk likes it, one time shot, and that one whistles wide. Hits Moresti, goes out, 525 left to play in the hockey game. One nothing, Brampton Midnight Express. Teams back at even strength. Big penalty guild there for the Midnight Express. Coming up to the five minute mark of this hockey game. Mentis fires one along the glass. That one's chipped out. No flooring on the play as the defenseman stepped up. That's gonna send Evan Castus all the way back to Manitoba. Castus chips it out to the line. Good play there by Robert Mentis to keep it in. There's a shot right on, rebound is there momentarily. But McComb very quick to jump out and hold on to that one. Face off, one by midnight. Hamdani. Doing some good work behind the net. Hamdani almost trying to step out front. He still had it on his stick. Good job here by Hamdani. Moves the ball up along the wall. That's going to be picked up there by Loveless. Loveless. He takes a little bump. Down low behind the net is J.K. Gill. Gill does some good work. Moves it out for Sofa. Down for Gill. Here's Gill. Gill. Trying to spin around, Dayton Sofa's gonna pick it up down the corner. Sofa, gonna hold on to waiting for his teammates to change. That's some smart ball movement there by the Midnight Express. They're gonna go for the wholesale change, but Manitoba will come out with the ball. Long pass is intercepted by Eric Tardif. Tardif backdoor pass. They had JC Gill open in the slot, but Gill couldn't get it. We see a midnight player going off the floor in some discomfort there as he took a whack, no doubt. That's Daniel Satachi for midnight. Moresti down the way. Not enough juice on the Manitoba pass. They barely get it out to the line. Knocked down by midnight. Here comes Tardif. Tardif over the line. Tardif, nice little stutter step move. Tardif fires one through. Nothing there. Jordan Crocker's going to pick it up. Crocker fires it down low for Gill. Gill's going to put it behind the net for Tardif. Tardif trying to spin away from the check of Derek Whitehill. Good battle with the Manitoba defenseman down low. Here's Gill. Gill throws one to the slot, but that one comes all the way out. Kelly's going to come away with it for Manitoba. Kelly trying to spin away from a check. Kelly backdoor pass almost there. Kelly slides into the goal, knocks it off the moorings. The official signifying the faceoff, I believe, should be outside, but I thought he might have pointed inside. We'll have to wait and see.
Face off will be in Manitoba territory. Kyle McComb playing well. Daniel Medeiros playing exceptionally well. Both goaltenders off the beat. There's a draw, shoot, scores! Right off the faceoff. Clean faceoff win, and Anthony Loveless was there, and he hammered it. McComb got a piece of it, but the backspin found its way into the net. And the Midnight Express score a second goal with only 2.40 left to play. And that's a dagger to Team Manitoba here tonight. Manitoba right in off the faceoff, but Medeiros is going to come out and hold on to that one. 2.37 left to go in this game. Face off to the left of Medeiros, digging in is Roman Nomic. Manitoba, Hardy shot, that one deflects, goes up into the face of the midnight player. He's up to his feet. That was J.C. Gill, took a deflection up into the face area. Gill staying on the floor though. Gill, Jason Gill, long lead pass. Gets it up, away comes Gill, stepping in for midnight. Backdoor feed, good defensive play there. I believe that was Justin Metcalf. Sorry, that's Mac Hardy. He saves a goal for Manitoba for sure as number 17, Minivaram Danny had a wide open cage and Hardy managed to get a stick on and keep it out. Manitoba now looking to get back, trying to get one here in the late stages and possibly pull the goaltender to try to sneak a point here. Goaltender being pulled for Manitoba. Ball fired around the boards. There's a shot right on. That one stopped by Madero's ball is going to be cleared down the floor for flooring. So we'll have a face off deep into midnight territory. Wondering if Coach Ray Cook might be going to the timeout here. See a little bit of discussion going on between the Midnight players of Manitoba here. No big surprise to see Dylan Kelly involved in that. <laughs> Timeout is called by Manitoba, 132 left to go, two nothing, Brampton over Manitoba.
from the draw. Manitoba with possession. Midnight trying to keep him to the outside. Kelly down low looking to get it out to Lawrence. El ball is lifted into the neutral zone. That's going to go all the way down. Won't make it though as Moresti gets back and stops it. That was going to the empty net. Kelly going to step in for this faceoff. 1.07 left to play. Team Manitoba still got a little time if they can pop one here with an empty net. Never know, the vice might start to tighten. Faceoff, one by midnight. Ball wrapped around the board. It's going to be kept in momentarily at the line by Lauren Sell, and he does indeed keep it in. Ball down low. Ganjira, backdoor pass. Christensen tried to put it through. Christensen, the big defenseman, playing up in front there to cause some chaos in front of the net. Kelly fires one out front. Christensen can't hold on to that one. Comes back to Derek and Guerra. Back for Moresti on the point. Moresti, normally he would be the guy up front, but Manitoba looking to get a shot out high. Lawrence Sell down low. Backdoor pass. Tried to get Guerra out for Moresti. Moresti shoots, scores! Shaq Moresti. And just out of my mouth, seconds before, looking for a shooter out top, and they found him, big number 25. Shaq Moresti dents the twine, and it's two to one. Manitoba right back to the attack. Ball on the line, chipped out. Midnight just trying to get it down the floor one more time. Perhaps time for one last Manitoba rush. Under 10 seconds remain, and that is going to do it. The Midnight Express going to hold on. They will take game one of this 2017 Canadian Ball Hockey Association National Championship. The Midnight Express, two. Manitoba won. You've been watching 5TV1's exclusive coverage of the 2017 CBHA Championship. We'll be back tomorrow from here at the Lord Beaverbrook Arena and the Harbor Station in St. John, New Brunswick. Thanks for joining us. Good night.